What's up guys, I'm Nick Fradiani and my album Hurricane came out today, super excited, and uh, I've been looking at all your questions that you sent in to Mario Lopez and now I'm going to answer them. So thank you Mario for having me on. And let's see, the first question is from Terry from Northport. What was the first song you played out live, when and where? Wow. I think, well, ever in my life was a fourth grade talent show and I sang... Um, I sang R. Kelly, I Believe I Can Fly. I think that was it. My dad played the piano. And uh, yeah, I killed it. It was very good. Actually, it was probably terrible. All right. Ian from Philadelphia. If you had a choice to bring someone on tour with you as an opening act, who would it be? Um, oh, man. As an opening act? Uh, that's a good question. I would bring... Uh, I would bring my, my old band Beach Avenue and they'd have to uh, they'd have to sing and without me they'd have to just so my my, my guitar player would be the lead singer and it'd be called <laughs> Beach Avenue. <All> right. <laughs> Ashley from R Ronka Nakoma? Ronka Nakoma. Wow, Ashley from Ronka Nakoma. I like that. What is your favorite thing about your fans? Um, my favorite thing about my fans is that they basically got me here and I, if I didn't have my fans I wouldn't be having my first album out because you know from Idol they literally voted me into to winning so um, they just changed my life and they're just very passionate like every time I have a new song out or anything I get you know people tweet, tweeting about you know getting my songs on the radio and everything so it's just been a, a very passionate group of people and I love them. Jenna from Park Forest what song did you have the most fun writing? Um, Let's see. There's, I don't know. I loved. There were so many different writing sessions that I loved. I used to love writing in Nashville with my buddy Jordan. Uh, we we did a bunch of songs together. Um, I think probably the most like in, insane writing session was I wrote a song with Jason Mraz, and um, it ended up being the title track of the of the album, which is called Hurricane. And I also got to write it with my guitar player, who's going to be opening up for me in the band Beach Avenue. His name is Nick <laughs> Abraham. Janine from Albuquerque. What was your favorite place that you went to on tour so far, and where would you like to go on tour? Um, I went to Vancouver. I played um, the Women's World Cup right after I won the show. I think it was in, I can't remember when that was, sometime in the last summer. And uh, it was beautiful, and we had so much fun. It was awesome. So I'd say that was my favorite. And where would I like to tour? I want to see more of the world, so I'd like to visit like Italy and Greece and Japan and everywhere. So hopefully I'll be traveling a lot. Brittany from Las Vegas, on a scale of one to like a million, how excited are you for the release date, that the release date has finally arrived? PS Team Fradiani is super excited for you. Congrats on the release of Hurricane. Well, Brittany, you're awesome. And um, on a scale of one to like a million, I'm at like a million. Uh, very excited. It's been a long time coming, and it's here. And, um, you know, like I said before, I'm super excited, and I always say super pumped, and I'm super pumped. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I just can't wait for everybody to hear it, and um, you guys deserve having it, all the people that pre-order it and everything, you know, I'm, I'm just excited for Team Franiani, as they say, to, to check it out. Alright, Treva from Hendersonville, is there talk of making Love is Blind a single? So Love is Blind is a song that I wrote um, with uh, Jaden Michaels and Dave Hodges, and uh, love the song, we play it out all the time, and... I don't think it's just, it's not going to be the single right now, but maybe soon. I think kind of it's going to organically, you know, become its own single. That's what I think is going to happen. So not right now, but we'll see. Caitlin from Wak Wakasha. Wakusha? Wakisha. <laughs> Probably not Wakisha. Okay, Caitlin from somewhere. Will you ever come back to Milwaukee? I'm guessing it's in Milwaukee. Um, <clears throat> I hope so. We've played in Milwaukee a few times, and we've had a blast, so... Um, Hopefully, we're looking into trying to get some more gigs in the in the coming months to promote the album, whether it's for, as an opening actor or we're kind of going out on our own. So hopefully, I'll be back to Milwaukee and wherever that town is in Milwaukee. Shannon from Weathersfield. Hi, Nick. Where's the party for the CD tonight? Hopefully in CT. Congrats, dude. Um, well, it's going to be on August 6th. Um, the day after the album comes, we're going to be heading to... Uh, I'm going to take the red eye from California, go cross country to Connecticut at the uh, mall, the Milford Post Mall, and uh, we'll be doing a signing, and we're going to perform a couple songs, and it's going to be awesome. So uh, that will be the, uh, that's the party for the CD. Um, what's this one? Michelle from Ansonia. Are you happy you won American Idol? When are you coming back to sing at the fair? 
Um, of course I'm happy. I won American Idol. That was insane. Sometimes I still can't remember it. Like, it seems like I, I think I blacked out for a large portion of it. But, um, yes, I'm still very happy I won. I made a lot of good friends and awesome fans. And so definitely happy I won. And when am I coming back to CD to sing at the fair? That is September, anyone know, 6th, 19th? I think it's September 19th. Um, but, uh, I'll be back again, like I said, to Connecticut, um, on the 6th. And then again, uh, I think it's September 19th, but you'll have to check, but it's the Gilbert fair and we're definitely playing. Gail from Meriden. Um, have you ever considered acting? Um, you know what? I don't, I have, and I'm not sure whether or not I'd be good. I, I'm trying to see, I, I need some practice for sure. I need to go to some acting classes, I think, but, um, considered yes. And I will consider. So, um, We'll see. Hopefully one day. Crystal from Mount Washington. What's with the black zip-up high tops you wear? Are they your lucky shoes? <laughs> well, I, uh, they are getting a bit beat up. I don't know if I'd say they're my lucky shoes. I just really like them. I haven't had the, I've only had them for like, I think six or seven months, but I do wear them quite a lot. They're like mixed between boots and sneakers and I like to wear boots but sometimes I want to wear sneakers so then I just wear these all the time so yeah we'll call them lucky right life's been good in these these bad boys all right Lori from Farmington is there anything you miss from your pre-fame pre-idol days we miss seeing you play up close but is there anything you miss um Let's see. Actually, you know what? Sometimes, like, me and my guitar player, we played uh, a show, a radio show in, I can't remember where it was. I think it might have been Denver. I'm not positive. But we just played, like, a bar, and um, it was really fun. And then we used to do that all the time. Like, we would just play whatever covers we wanted and would just have fun and play for a couple hours. And we were, like, after we played, we were, like, that kind of felt like the old days. So I think sometimes I kind of miss just doing that. Just, like, any any time of the week that I feel like playing, I'm, I'm out there playing. So, um, but... Besides that, uh, life is pretty good. Trish from Phoenix. Out of all the songs on the album, which one is your favorite? I've, I I can't answer that one. I don't know why. Like I keep switching, you know, kind of all over the place. Um, I always say I really love Love Is Blind and I love Hurricane. And then If I Didn't Know You is a song I really like. I don't know all of them. It seems like every uh, couple weeks I find a new like. There's I love a different song for a different reason and. It's cool to listen back to it and actually enjoy it. Sometimes it's hard as an artist to like go back and listen to yourself, but on this album, um, I listen to you know the songs and really enjoy them and like them. So I don't know. It's hard for me to pick a, a one right now. Michelle from my birthplace, East Haven, Connecticut. What are your two favorite songs on your album, Hurricane? Uh, well, I guess I answered that, Michelle, with my other one. Um, yeah, like I said, it's tough for me to make a decision, but uh, yeah, I can't do it can't do it i gave you a bunch so. <laughs> caitlin from harwington how'd the album get its name um well i had a couple I, I kind of at first i had some ideas of what i wanted to name it um that weren't song titles or anything but uh then i went back and for some reason when i wrote all the, the songs out hurricane just kept coming back as uh something that caught my eye for a title and you know the year's kind of been a crazy up and down wild year and um you know, even though a song is more about a relationship, it's still kind of like, you know, you have a bad fight, but then at the end of it, you kind of become stronger. And I think, you know, this past year, there's been obviously tremendous ups and then, but there's been some downs too, but I feel like at the end, we're going to come out stronger. Mercedes from Lisbon. What is the one thing you miss from home? Um, I miss my dog a lot. My parents, my, my family, you know, my cousins and I were all really close. So I'd say that, but I'm, I'm back in Connecticut quite a lot, so. Chelsea from Brewster. Since it's very hard for me to find rides to events, could you please come to my house one day and spend the day with me and play music? Maybe teach me a few things, singing and play guitar. Hope all is well. Love and miss you lots. Wow. Um, Chelsea, I, I don't, maybe. I mean, that could, we could try to set something like that up. Um, teach you a few things, singing and play guitar. Okay, I could do that. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what we can set up, Chelsea. I think I know Chelsea from Brewster, now that I think about it. I think I remember you, so... Maybe that will happen. Melissa from Dayton. Is there a place that you get the most inspiration for writing songs? If so, where? Oh, man. Um, I think I wrote the most songs um, in Nashville so far for this album. So I guess uh, being in Nashville kind of inspired me to write a lot. 
Tina from New Mexico, are you going to write and record another Beach Avenue album? Um, I do not know that, uh, possibly, you never know. Um, I, Nick wrote on a song with me on the album called Hurricane, uh, so I guess there is a possibility that that could happen one day. I love it when you accompany yourself on the piano. Will you ever play the piano during one of your shows? Yeah, I think, uh, I think especially on uh, If I Didn't Know You, I, can't, I think, um, you know, it, it kind of lends itself for a good live moment on stage. So I think uh, on that one I will, and, and maybe some other ones. And I want to say thank you again to Mario Lopez for letting me on his show tonight. This was so awesome. I'm crazy excited that my new CD, Hurricane, is out right now. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. Thank you so much. Hope you love the album. Is that cool?